10% law. This law was put forth by Linman in 1942. According to this law, only 10% of the energy entering a particular trophic level is available for transfer to the next higher trophic level. Here's an illustration regarding the same. We know sun is the ultimate source of energy. In this case, sun is providing 1000 joule of light energy out of which 1% of the solar energy is converted into food energy by plants through the process of photosynthesis whereas remaining 990 joules of energy is lost to the environment. Now this 10 joules of energy is available as food for producers out of which 10% that is 1 joule of energy could be transferred to the next trophic level and it would be available for herbivores as food whereas remaining 9 joules of energy would be lost to the environment. Now out of this 1 joule of energy 10% that is 0.1 joule would be available as food for carnivore whereas 0.9 joule of energy would again be lost to the environment in the form of heat. Here we can recall the same example. Suppose 1000 joule of energy falls on leaves of green plants. Plants have 1% efficiency and hence 10 joules of energy is trapped by them to produce chemical or food energy. Now according to the 10% law, only 10% of 10 joules of energy is available to the next trophic level that is 1 joule of energy would be available whereas remaining 9 joules of energy would be lost to the environment during the transfer of food energy and respiration of herbivore. Next again applying 10% law 10% of remaining 1 joule that is 0.1 joule will be available for the third trophic level that is to tiger as flesh whereas remaining 0.9 joule would be lost to the environment and because of this reduced energy available there is small number of consumers at the higher trophic level.